the truth the girls. Hi everyone. A group called the Physicians in Crop Spray Towns have uh, come forward and said that they don't think that it's Zika causing the uh, microcephaly epidemic. They think it's something called a pyriproxophen, uh, a larvicide, which had been put into the water in 2014 to kill the larvae of the mosquito that uh, carries Zika among other viruses. They said that the areas that had the most microcephaly were the areas where that where the water was treated with the pyriproxophen and that they think that this is the true cause of it. Now these doctors point out that there have been Zika outbreaks in other places like Colombia where there was no associated microcephaly in newborns who'd been exposed to it. So why now? I mean Zika doesn't usually do this, so why now in Brazil so many cases? So they just don't believe that it's Zika. They think it could be this. Okay, I'm not going to tell you what to think. I'm just going to show you like the two sides of the story and you decide what you think and let me know what you think. So on the other hand, uh, the areas where this was added to the water are the areas where they have the most mosquitoes. I mean, a lot of mosquitoes. Like there's one area called uh, the state of uh, Pernambuco where, for example, uh, the proliferation of these mosquitoes is very high. So, I mean, if the mosquitoes, let's just say, if it's Zika that's causing it, it would make sense that the areas that had the most mosquitoes would have the most cases of Zika and would have the most cases of microcephaly. Like, just assuming that it's that, let's just say. It would also make sense that those would be the areas that they would be treating with pyriproxophen because they're, they have the worst mosquito problem. Now, on the other hand, I'm going to show you this article. Experts debunk claim blaming larvicide, not Zika, for microcephaly. Keep in mind that, you know, maybe they have some interest in wanting to debunk this and that um, maybe they just don't want people to know that it's the stuff they put in the water that did it. But the case they make for this is that, for one, uh, officials pointed out that some areas that do not use pyriproxophen have also reported cases of microcephaly. They said it was extensively tested uh, and, you know, showed no effects on reproductive system or nervous system in animals. Hmm. Did they test it, you know, did they test the effects on the, the, the offspring of, of pregnant animals that were ex exposed to it? Maybe, maybe not. It has been approved and registered for use in the past 20 years by the authorities of around 40 countries around the world. Does that mean that they were actually also using it? They say no correlation with microcephaly has been reported. Well, if you actually had 40 countries using it for 20 years and there was no microcephaly, then it would seem like kind of unlikely. It says pyroproxophen acts by interfering with the hormonal control growth cycle of insects from hatching to larva to pupa. The hormone control system does not exist in organisms with backbones, such as humans, and pyroproxophen has very low toxicity in mammals as a result. Well, so they say. Oh, they, the, the companies, uh, Monsanto says that it's not one of their products. It's, it's made by Sumitomo, which is not um, a subsidiary of Monsanto, although it is a, a partner, whatever that means. <laughs> so Monsanto says, don't blame us. <laughs> They've had a rough run, eh? They had to lay off 2,500 employees. They got sued. They were even taken to the um, Human Rights Tribunal in, I think, Belgium for, um, you know, what was it called? Crimes Against Humanity. So maybe Monsanto's like, oh, please, make it stop. So could it be larvicide? I guess, you know, time will tell. Uh, you know, the thing is, if it was the larvicide, why did the cases spike and then go down if they continue to put it in the water? And uh, on the other hand, the cases were not conclusively linked with Zika, and WHO will tell you as much. It's not proven, it's just suspected. So why would Zika even cause this if it didn't cause it in other places? Well, sometimes viruses mutate. So maybe, um, maybe the Zika has changed and now has this effect. I don't know. And I sure hope they figure it out because this is really terrible. And whatever it is that's causing it needs to be reined in, or, you know, if it's a chemical, they need to stop using it. I know... Brazil uses a ton of chemicals. I mean, the, the place is like flooded with GMOs and GMO pesticides and all kinds of stuff. So, you know, probably some kind of toxic soup. So who knows what did this? Uh, or maybe it was Zika after all. Anyway, let me know what you think. Um, thanks for giving me a thumbs up.
Thanks for listening to me, and I'll see you next time.